Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to show you how to make these paper tulips that I've designed. The reason I designed them is I've got a project coming up very soon which is a flower box envelope that folds flat. So I wanted flowers in it that would fold flat and I didn't have any. So I wanted them to have dimension but still be able to go flat. So as you can see they do go flat. So this would be really great for lots of projects. I've wired my stems, but you don't have to do that. This one isn't to show you that they're okay unwired, but all of these are, and you can see they're quite a lot stiffer. I'm going to show you how I do that, but like I say, you don't need to. There's a nice dimension if you use card for the leaves as well, because it stays open where I only glue it at the bottom. But I'm going to show you how to make them, and then stay tuned. Well, look back for the next project that's coming up, and I, when I've done it, I will leave a link in the description for you so that you can find it. I'm just going to move these to one side because like I said I'll be using them they'll be glued into a card shortly and then I'll be able to bring you the demonstration so what we're going to do is you just need some card now you can use paper patterned card colored card plain colored card anything you've got and it's quite good for using up scraps and um, just fold the cards in half and allow yourself enough width for half of the size of the flower that you want now if you've done these before and you're happy with the shape and size of the flower that you've got then the best thing to do is on the fold line like where you've got your fold here you can just use it as a template because i've made mine here and just use it as a template and draw around it now don't use a pen like me i'm just doing it because it shows up better on the camera but oh hello i moved it never mind um but then you would use a pencil so that you can rub it out and then your little petals as well and then you would go ahead and color these in now if you're using pattern paper or color paper then you just miss that step so that's a petal you need four petals and you need two leaves okay now what we're going to do is just cut around those like so i'm just using sketch pad paper actually it's not um it's a little bit weighty but it's not card as such it's like quite it's like a very very thin card if you like and then what it, the reason i fold it in half into it is you can have a symmetrical shape plus and you may have dies this shape so you could use your dies and also not only you can have a symmetrical shape each side um, you you want that fold in the middle and it's quite difficult if you use a cutting machine to cut these out and then fold them right down the middle so we've got those two there obviously like i say you wouldn't need to color them i'll just show you how i do do it do 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 it what have i done with that petal <laughs> she's lost it already so i'm just using alcohol markers and what i do is i completely saturate the petal both sides and do it onto a piece of paper because obviously i'll be coloring in my mat and those of you eagle-eyed will notice that I have absolutely ruined my mat and taken all the lines off of it because I used, um, I did my nails on it and I've got now a varnish remover on there. What a nutter. So you can either do like lines at the top coming down or you can do them the other way around from the bottom going up. So it depends what you want your petals to be like and just use one light color one darker color if you're doing inks then they're going to blend beautifully and then i'll just go back in because it's quite wet you see if you get it saturated you've got better blending so just allow that to dry and you make four of those two of these here's two i made earlier here's four i made earlier oh, i first wanted to say that it's the little things isn't it so i've got those ready so they're going to be used soon and then you want a one eighth strip of the same color card or if you're coloring it in color it the same color now if you want to wire it what i'm going to do is fold this in half now i may not need it to be this long but i'm just going to fold it in half for now and that's the length of wire that i'm going to use but i will cut my wire after but i just want to know where that center fold line is then I run some glue and I'm using the Pimple Book Binding Glue and I just rub that along there, it's like a PVA but it's, I think it's PVA, I assume, probably tells you on there and then I'm just going to take a thin wire, like I say you can skip this step if you're not using heavy weight, your flower's not going to be heavy weight and um, pulling down the stem if you like just pop that along there like that and I'm using my fingers so I'm covered in glue let's get it right to the end 
and then on this side I'm going to run the glue back down this side so we're completely trapping that very fine wire inside now you can buy wires that are thick and green that you could just use outright without having to wire a card now the project that I'm going to be bringing you I just wanted to have wire on them I don't even know if I need it on them to be honest but I thought if I do it jobs are good and don't have to make more tulips so pop that on there and then I'm just going to cut this off with scissors I always if I'm cutting wire it's a little bit naughty and I always go right down to the point because how often do you use that part of your scissors so if I'm going to wreck them I'll wreck them it but I don't use so we've got that made and now we just put it together which is really simple now if you've got a petal that is coloured the nicest and you like it the most put it at the front because it's the one that's going to be seen the most so I like that one best so worst one goes at the back <laughs> and if you've got pattern paper and colour paper then you don't even have to worry do you and then we just pop that in there now the folded end is up here so we've got the nice end at the bottom if it's just going to be one single tulip on a piece of card then you'll want the nice end at the bottom otherwise if it's going to be hidden it won't matter so much so I thought if I bring you the tulip video first then you'll be ready for me when we do the project so you'll have all your tulips made I'd say probably you need about seven. So what we've done is just glue that there. I've popped a piece, a piece, a drop of glue that side, a drop of glue that side, and one in the middle. Okay. Now you're going to take not your favourite petal, and you're just going to go at the bottom. You're going to line where the bottom of that petal is. You're just going to go there, like that, and you're going to come out a little bit as well. So, and it's only that back, but you can see it's. Don't want to do it because I'm terrible for moving things when they're wet. So it's only one side glued. Same the other side, just get it to the bottom, slide it over to be the same distance away from the centre as the other one, like that. Then with your final petal, just turn it over. Just going to put a little bit of glue that side, a little bit of glue that side. And then again, that's going to line up right at the bottom so it finishes the curve nicely. Push the point around to meet the back point so it's even like that. Give it a squash and a hold. And I'm going to leave it because I'm so bad at this. So impatient. Then we take our leaves and you can make these longer as well. So if, you've, if you wanted it to be that long on a card, then obviously you'd want a longer leaf. So just a bit of glue each side at the bottom, pop it onto the tulip and squash it together. So you're trapping the stem inside but every, all of this is open which is where you're getting your dimension and then this isn't dry so is it but never mind and then you pull that one up and you can see you've got your dimension on your tulip as well but when it goes in the project it will fall flat so just what I wanted. <laughs> selfish I'm a selfish inventor I invent what I want don't invent for the sake of it for the necessity so we just pop that one on the other side so you can do it higher if you want it to be up there you could do it lower you could do it right at the same point so again you just need to squash that down now the other good thing that you can do with these is you can just pinch there and turn it at an angle because sometimes the tulip leaves do that so it's quite cool so you've, there's your tulips and don't forget very soon within the week maybe in, within the days hopefully I'll be bringing you the new flower box I haven't made it yet I've done a prototype so that will be coming very soon so thanks for watching guys and I'll see you soon bye bye